Meet Atlas, a humanoid robot developed by the American robotics company Boston Dynamics, which is now owned by Google. It was developed with funding and oversight from the United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. Atlas stands approximately 1.8 meters or 6 feet tall, weighs 150 kilograms and is designed for a variety of search and rescue tasks. Atlas is based on Boston Dynamics' earlier Petman humanoid robot. It can not only walk across rough terrain, it also reacts to slipping and can retain its balance much like a human can. It has four hydraulically actuated limbs and is constructed out of aluminium and titanium and is illuminated with blue LEDs. Atlas is equipped with two vision systems, a laser rangefinder and stereo cameras, both controlled by an onboard computer. It has hands with fine motor skill capabilities and its limbs possess a total of 28 degrees of freedom. It can do advanced tasks like finding and picking up objects and if they are dropped it will try again and again until it completes the actual task. Atlas can also react to external forces, like being pushed or kicked, and it can also get up if it falls over. Atlas can also do things like finding and opening doors, climbing ladders, clearing debris, locating valves, all the sort of tasks which a human rescue worker would need to be able to do. The Cheetah robot, built by MIT, is the first four-legged robot to not only be able to autonomously jump over obstacles in its way, but also run up to 28 miles an hour, which is slightly faster than Usain Bolt. Using its onboard LiDAR visual system, which uses lasers to map out the terrain in front of a robot, it can see where it's going and where the obstacles are in its way. The team at MIT developed a three-part algorithm to plan out the robot's path based on the LiDAR data. Both the vision and the path planning system are on board the robot, giving it complete autonomous control. This works out the height of the objects and also the distance from itself and also the speed at which the robot is travelling. Then it works out the best place to jump and clear the object. In experiments on a treadmill and also an indoor track, the Cheetah robot successfully cleared obstacles up to 18 inches tall, more than half of the actual robot's own height, whilst maintaining an average running speed of approximately 5 miles an hour. Testing the robot in an open area actually worked better than on the treadmill because it had more time to react, with it clearing 90% of the obstacles compared to only 70% on the more limited area of the treadmill. Spot is the latest electrically powered and hydraulically actuated four-legged robot to come from Boston Dynamics. Designed for both indoor and outdoor operation and also being able to take a good kicking from its makers, though that really is just a good test to show its stability and ability to react to external forces. It can negotiate rough ground, climb hills and even stairs and also can hop about like a real animal but it is still remotely controlled at the moment and not a truly autonomous robot like its big brother the Atlas.
As for what purpose it might have is unclear at the moment, but it could be a robot scout in a military situation, or an autonomous guard dog, or maybe even it could be a mechanical pet. We'll just have to wait until Boston Dynamics releases some more information. It uses a form of scanning LiDAR for its navigation, and its backwards facing legs, like that of a goat, give it also a great deal of agility. At around 1 metre tall and weighing approximately 72 kilograms, Spot is smaller than the previous versions like Big Dog, and being all electric it's much quieter without the petrol engine that is installed in the bigger robots like the LS3. interactive social robot which will um, interact with all members of the family, propose um, games so that people get together more or um, take a picture of your kid while you're not at home. I'm ready. Say cheese. Come with me. No, sorry. My parents always told me never to follow strangers. Pepper has been um, developed with SoftBank. Uh, SoftBank wanted a robot for two purposes. One which is already in place live in Japan is uh, Pepper is um, an extra staff to welcome customers at SoftBank mobile shops all across Japan. On three, we each take a deep breath and then we see who can hold it the longest. One, two, three, go! Mm. Wait. Since I don't need to breathe, I can't lose. And as of February 2015, um, Southbank Mobile will also sell peppers to uh, the general public and you will be able to take one home. I'm ticklish today. Pepper will probably also be used a lot to entertain your guests and we, with, we think that a lot of party applications will be, uh, will be very interesting. Probably the most well-known robot is the Japanese Honda Asimo, and while it now may act very realistically, it's been a long time in the making. In 1986, Honda undertook the challenge that seemed straight out of science fiction at the time, to build a humanoid robot that might one day help people, move with them and improve their lives. that Honda showed to the public was self-contained and walked under remote control. It stood nearly six feet tall and weighed over 200 kilograms. The next version in 1997 was lighter and more compact 
and better able to interact with people on a more human scale. As the new millennium approached, rapid advances in computers, hydraulics and microcircuitry brought science fiction another step closer to science fact. And Honda greeted the world with a more approachable, friendlier robot. It called Advanced Step Innovative Mobility, the first ASIMO. Over the next seven years, ASIMO's movements were refined to handle complex environments and perform new tasks. Its size was reduced further to accommodate human living spaces and today, three decades since Honda engineers first accepted the challenge, ASIMO has a host of advanced physical and intelligence capabilities. ASIMO is now an autonomous robot that not only runs, jumps, spins around and anticipates people's movements but can also manipulate objects and distinguish people by their voice and their face. As development continues, ASIMO is a fountain of innovative mobility ideas that go far beyond its original design and are much closer to practical reality. ASIMO is a dream that Honda realised one step after another that someday soon robots will coexist with people, move for those who can't, work in difficult situations and be the ears and eyes and hands and legs of people who need help in their everyday lives. Introducing the newest Honda's advanced step in innovative mobility, ASIMO. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then don't forget to please thumbs up and subscribe for more. And if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, then please let us know in the comments below.